Aloha, this is Kevin Kimball, and the purpose of this video is to teach you about some of the hot, hot keys, as well as some of the built-in Excel functions. Uh, I've provided you this Excel file. You should be able to access that through your Accounting 232B um, Instructor website. So you should already have this file in front of you, ready to go. What are hotkeys? Well, you've probably already used hotkeys and not known it, or maybe you know what hotkeys are, but the basic idea of a hotkey is they've, they've got some built-in programs that are tied to a certain set of keystrokes. For example, the most common one you might know of is Control C, which is to copy. As soon as you hit Control C, you get these marching ants around your selection, which means it's going to copy it. You can move it somewhere else, and then you can just hit Enter, and it appears. So you just copied it. Or you can go Control C, and then you can use a more specific pasting function, which is Control V, as in Valley. And so that's control C. Other ones that you might know of are uh, formatting wise, control B is bold, control B again, unbold. Control U, underline, control U, underline, uh, remove the underline. Control I, italicize, control I, remove. So you'll see that those are um, on this list, control B, control C, um, uh, control F, find and replace. For example, control F, let's say I wanted to find the word uh, current. I can just type that in, hit enter, and it finds the word current. Uh, you can also do find and replace and things like that. But it's just a way of um, saving you some time. For example, one I'll show in a later video is Alt F A, which is the save as function. So that uh, brings you up to this where you can choose what format you want to save your file in. Okay, Alt F A. Uh, so anyway, that's what this file is. It's simply a list of all these hotkeys. And what I recommend you do is just scan through these descriptions and think, wow, I, I do that a lot. And if it is something you do a lot, then learn the related hotkey. For example, let's say I always wind up having to insert a column because I didn't think through the way this is organized. So I would just go up here, and you go. Uh, I, I can just hit uh, just any cell here, and Alt, and as you can see, the uh, shortcut letters for these functions appears, I, and then C. And now I've got a new column inserted. Okay. If I thought, oh wait, I didn't want to do that, I can go Control Z, and that undoes what I just did. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of functions. So once again, my recommendation is just read down the descriptions, and if you find something that you do a lot, then learn the related hotkey. And the best way to learn it is to just use it multiple times in a given day, and all of a sudden, uh, you remember. Okay, that's for hotkeys. Next, functions. There are a ton of built in functions. Um, one way to see which functions you have is you can go up here to the formulas ribbon and you can see that there's some function, a sum function, and average function. So let's just do average. Okay, as you can see, it comes up and it shows you what the syntax is. So if I had uh, some numbers in these two cells, I could just hold my left mouse button down, drag and drop, and I'll hit enter. Right now it doesn't like that because obviously there are no numbers up there, but let's put a 5 and um, a 7. And as you can see, it comes up to the number 6 because that's a built-in function. Okay, now if I didn't really want that, I'll go control Z, control Z, control Z, and I'm back to where I was. So this is another one. What I recommend you do is just skim down through these different functions uh, and their related descriptions. And uh, if you find something you like, then learn the related function. There are a lot of great things in here. If, if you're using Excel and you don't know functions, you are missing out on a good portion of it. So you can go up here, you can see the recently used functions that I've used. Those are things that I've done. Uh, financial functions. Uh, boy, if you go into finance, you want to be a certified financial analyst, you would want to learn a lot of these. Okay? Uh, others, logical, um, you know, and, or, you know, if this and this are true, that kind of stuff. The if function, it's a very powerful feature in Excel. Uh, text, this is great for auditors. And if you take my accounting 386 class, you'll learn more about that. Date and time functions. Okay? So you get the idea. Uh, I strongly recommend that you take this file with you, that you refer to it, that you try to learn new things all the time. Uh, I think you'll find that you'll save yourself a lot of time and you'll become the go-to person for Excel uh, where you go to work. Aloha.